you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Order up! It is time for us to order up. Order up, order up. This week, we are ordering up the top available NFL free agents. From five to one. Who you got, D? All right. I'm starting off with some defensive backs. Going well, just one. Marcus Peters. You know, he gets a little wild, but he's still one of the best corners in the game. If I'm a team that's middle-of-the-road defense, I'm going to sign Marcus Peters. Uh, number four, Leonard Floyd. Another defensive guy. He's a competent linebacker, only 30 years old. He was a ca- casualty in Los Angeles. It's not like he's a bad player. Leonard Floyd can help a lot of teams in this league. Another defensive guy, got Frank Clark. This is a two-time Super Bowl champ. He gets the job done. Uh, number two, Zeke Elliott. I'm surprised more teams are not interested. Now, he's given his wish list as the Bengals, the Eagles, and the Jets. But, you know, he can help a lot of other teams. He may not be worth all the money, but two-time rushing champ, He's got a nose for the end zone. His numbers have never gone down, but you know you def- definitely don't want to pay him all that number, all that money. Number one, I'm gonna say it's Taylor Luan. He's 31 years old. He's a left tackle. He would be a boost to any team's offensive line. What do you got, Z? Great choices. You know we do have a little bit of overlap, definitely. Um, we have him in different spots though. I have Frank Clark at number five. I think Frank Clark, you know, 29, eight-year pro, anchor of the Chiefs D. He's definitely got some, he's got some tread left on that tire. And whoever takes him on is going to get a very good player. Number four, I'm with you, uh, Taylor Lewan. Taylor Lewan is a very solid left tackle. Right, he protected Ryan Tannehill last for years, so like, he's able. You know, he's going to latch on somewhere, and he's going to, he's going to solidify. He's definitely going to solidify an offensive line somewhere. Number three, I'm going to take Donovan Smith over Lawan just because he's two years younger. He has eight years of experience, but he is two years younger than Taylor Lawan. So that's going to be something that I think is going to be a little more palatable and a little bit more intriguing for teams. Number two, this was tough because there are two pretty big names and like both guys are both guys are studs in their own right. But for number two, I'm going to go with Leonard Fournette. I think Le- I think playoff Lenny's got playoff some uh, Lenny. playoff Lenny's got some tread on the tire, and I think that he's going to end up in a good situation, and he's going to be an impact player like he was when he first got to the Bucks. Uh, he's you know he's definitely you know he's seen better days. Sure, we all have, <laughs> but you know what? Like he's the kind of guy. He was motivated, and he got into amazing shape, and he proved people wrong. Time for Leonard Fournette to do it again. And number one, I love Byron Jones. Like, I I think Byron Jones is a really good corner, one of the best in the league. I think he's going to be a, a shutdown corner on one side. Whoever picks him up. A casualty for the Dolphins. Missed some time last year, but he is a quality, he is a stud player, 
and whoever picks him up is going to be very, very pleased that they did. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.